Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid! Raid! Today's video is a proof of concept and I had to test it out to make sure this works. And I wanted to bring something to you all so you can make it at home before we elevate it and take it to the next level. Today we're making Spider-Man's web shooter out of super glue and borax water. We've played with borax and water on the channel before and when you add super glue to it, something crazy happens. So I have three different types of super glue for us to try today because I really believe it matters about the viscousness Viscosity, that's the word, not viscousness. Viscosity of the super glue. So the three different viscosities here are thick, medium, and thin. And we're gonna test all these out to see which one's going to give us the best Spider-Man web. And the reason I think it's important for us to test these is that I think they're all gonna give us a different reaction. So when we have this borax solution, some of them are gonna react faster, some of them are gonna react slower, and we wanna make sure we have that perfect Spider-Man web. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our borax water heated up. This is just some warm water. I'm gonna go ahead and add some borax. We're going to get a boric acid. This reaction happens better when you have a hot solution. So one of the challenges that I'm going to face is how are we gonna keep this warm within our Spider-Man shooter web hand thing? The reason we want it to be warm is so that we have a faster reaction because we need our spider webs to react quickly rather than slowly so that we can grab onto things and swing from them very rapidly rather than, uh, you know, um, having to wait for our web to dry before we swing on it. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends has taken over and gaming will never be the same again. Raid's the first game to bring a true console level experience to your phone. They've set the bar high and there's no going back. Eleanor the High Elf has one job, hit one guy as hard as possible and then hide. A perfect choice for fighting against clan boss and spider. He may not be very viable in other areas of the game, but with Zavia on the team, he changes. The fastest way to level up your champions is through farming the campaign. You grind XP and get loads of silver and a few artifacts at the same time. This is the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click the link in my description or scan the QR code here on the screen, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30. We're talking free epic champions Virgis, 2k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Alright, so here is our thick viscosity. That was decent. What do you think, Josh? Uh, it looked good. It was smooth, I feel like. It was very smooth. Did not all cure all the way because it's attached to my glove now. So that's kind of promising. Um, we'll check the center of that in a minute. Now let's try our medium. Because remember, we're looking for a couple things here. We're looking for cure time, and we're also looking for it to cure all the way through. This is the medium viscosity. Oh, that's like clear. That one's really weird. And now let's try our thin viscosity. Oh no. This thin gives us the best all the way healed super glue borax solution. This medium's pretty grand as well. Um, my only concern with this one is if it was all the way through and it was not. So that's, that's a little concerning. And then I'm assuming the thick did not. Yeah, thick didn't heal all the way through either. I'm saying healed, I meant cured. So those feel not promising to me. I actually want to try mixing the thin and the medium together a little bit and see if we get a good little reaction. That felt promising. Adding the thin to the medium made it cure almost all the way through, which is really what we were looking for. And also on top of it, it allowed it to create a line, which is really what we need. So I am loving the mixture of the thin and the medium. It's like the perfect consistency. Now again, this is a proof of concept and I wanna make them into one system. So I have these two and remember, we have to keep the borax and water solution away from the super glue because if we don't, they're gonna react in the thing and backfire and it's just gonna be a whole big disaster and we don't need that. So. We have two separate toys here, and what we're going to do is take a look at the inside and how they work. So, in my mind, 
we can take off these giant clunky plastic pieces and instead of pushing them like this, we can just have one where it's like pew 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 and I can add one piece that's going to hit both these levers at the same time, which is then going to take the water and borax solution or super glue through this tubing into here where it's pressurized and it's pushed through this nozzle. Then we're gonna take both these nozzles, mount them on one thing so that the stream meets in the middle. And then hopefully we'll have our super cool spider webs. Pew, pew, pew. What I like about this water toy is it is a very simple machine and it took a lot of the mechanical work out so I didn't have to go and order things and put stuff together. It just made it simple. I know this works and it sprays water, which is fantastic. There it is. And what I'm going to do is they unlock on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that and then this whole system disconnects, even the water tank on the back. And so my goal, what I would love to do is put both of these in here, stacked on top of one another or next to one another. Cause remember when you go like, boo, you're Spider-Man. So you have two that you can hit making them stable enough and sturdy enough is another question. Something else in the future that I would like to visit is how we can make these reservoirs either connected or smaller with one another. So I don't have two giant water tanks on the back of my wrist. Um, so that's something that can be played with in the future and we could just use smaller containers, but also if you're swinging across the city, it might be necessary for you to have these giant tanks on the back of your wrist. Let's go ahead and get this all wrapped up with some blue tape, electrical tape. That way it is adjustable and fixable and maneuverable. It's a lot of a move, moving and arranging things. Oh, and then for my squirt gun guys, they're gonna be on each side pointing like this at one another. Introducing Spider Web Shooter Prototype 101. <laughs> Proof of concept. <laughs> Proof of concept. <laughs> Concept. Um, so what I ended up doing was taping these two things on top of this wrist mount and then I took a piece of foam board like this and taped it and stacked the two levers on top of one another. So when I push this down they will both activate at the same time. Then I cut the tubing for the water one. I wrote super glue on the one that is super glue. So the super glue one will come out the right. The water one I cut down so it only had to go all the way to here and then reach around the back. And then the super glue one is a little bit more convoluted. So that's something we'll have to be aware of um, when we start the activation that the water might come faster. The borax water might come faster than the super glue. So just something for us to be aware of because the cord is just a little bit shorter. By a little shorter, I mean like this much shorter. So maybe it will, maybe it won't. Also, you can try the glass experiment by yourself at home, but I do not recommend this um, just because you don't need to be shooting super glue and water borax solution around your house or outside or getting it on your friends. Just not a good idea. This is it, the first ever test of the borax super glue spider web and it might fail ethically. Oh. Oh. They're missing just a little bit. Close. I'm gonna stand closer to this thing. <gasps> Whoa! We have a win! We have a win! win! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. into the board. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> okay, so I've taped them very close together. We're gonna hope that this is the correct angle and they're gonna meet. Whoa. 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 Okay. That's it! So not only did we create a web, we created a burning web! Yeah, Look at it! That was a perfect one! Don't spray to me. <gasps> okay, dude, it worked. <laughs> I, I, oh my gosh, I built a, I built a web shooter. <laughs> look at it. Look at that thing. Yeah. That's a work of art. <laughs> it 
It's something. <gasps> That's a web shooter! Do you see it? Yeah. That was a good one! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Whoa. There it is. A web shooter. We made the first web shooter. Proof of concept. <laughs> web shooter out of borax and super glue. I'm beyond stoked, honestly. I'm flabbergasted. We have to make a real one. We literally, we have to. We have to make, we have to make a real one. We have to. Comment down below if you want to see us upgrade this and make it even better out of super glue and borax water solution. I'm stoked. Thank you so much to Raid for sponsoring today's video, and if you want to get in on the action, make sure you check it out in our description down below. I'm ready to scale this up and make a fully automatic one, not made out of plastic and electrical tape um, and some plastic toys. So I'm gonna start thinking about that and working on that, and if you want to hop down a T-Core rabbit hole, make sure you check out some of these other videos that are just as awesome as our web shooter.